Narcissus. In the realm of ancient Greece, there existed a youth of unparalleled beauty named Narcissus. His visage was as radiant as the golden sun that graced the heavens, and his allure captivated all who beheld him. Born of divine lineage, tales of his breathtaking appearance echoed through the valleys and mountains, drawing admirers from far and wide. However, Narcissus was aloof, ensnared by his own reflection in the still waters of a secluded pond. Each day, he would linger by the shimmering pool, enchanted by the image that mirrored his own perfection. Mesmerized by his own likeness, he found solace in the silent companionship of his reflection, oblivious to the world around him. Many sought his affection, yearning to capture even a fleeting glance from the mesmerizing youth. Echo, a nymph cursed to repeat the words of others, was among those who pined for his attention. Yet, her attempts to engage Narcissus in conversation were met with indifference, leaving her with naught but the echoes of her own voice among the hills. As Narcissus remained fixated on his reflection, unaware of the adoration and longing directed toward him, the gods took notice of this tragic infatuation. Unable to tear himself away from his mirrored likeness, Narcissus wasted away, consumed by a love that existed solely within the confines of the reflecting pool. His beauty faded, and in his final moments he gazed upon his reflection with longing and sorrow before vanishing, leaving behind naught but a delicate flower that bore his name, a testament to unrequited love and the perilous allure of self-absorption. And so, the tale of Narcissus and Echo stands as a cautionary myth, a testament to the perils of excessive self-love and the pain of unspoken affection.